an extra it's sure they you know is bent an extra hard carrying the team but the team as a whole didn't look that good but before that when he had mo and dd they were beating teams like you know luminosity when they were called that back then when cobbleton was still being played they were having some big upsets with international teams and this is the first time in a long long time that Ty Lu, i'm starting to have some faith in this team and that scares me because i've had my heart broken too many times by them but here we go dust to denko mitch did say that even though Ty Lu's win record here even though it looks good they have had a lot of close games but he still has faith in the Ty Lu players i'm actually gonna disagree with him a little bit i feel like tiger they're mature enough as a team that despite getting completely utterly crapped on in map one they can kind of bounce back into map number two and dust two so far the games i've seen from them have looked pretty convincing well let's see a little bit of dust two it's uh it's a nice map to have blood because we haven't really had too much i don't care what different map I, I, I like dust two you know what i like yeah it. i like dust two i like the new doors let's see if they provide a good game of counter strike it's somewhere going down early on nine stepping in shutting him away early on into the round and now the push on towards the b bomb so dobu flying through the air gets rid of slowly another bomb plant came in from dobu a two-man advantage and then ten for tiger and the b bomb side taking we know it's still very difficult to retake especially with no kit nor any utility here for tai Lu. it's a good headshot from somebody and it comes down to tiger just not making any mistakes no one overextending don't give anything to Tai Lu, and you should have this round in the back. You should. So, pistol round. Of course. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's attacker. If you got the second kill, that could have been it. And now it's a 1v2, and Dobu's there to clinch it out. 4k for Mr. Dobu. And uh, if Tiger wanna fancy any chances of taking this map and taking the map number three denko I, I feel like he's one player that really needs to step up now urcast did what he could on mirage it was nowhere close to being enough and everyone was kind of quiet but when it comes to name power when it comes to being one of the one of the stars of this team dobu has been a name around the scene for quite a while and ever since urcast has come in yeah he's had his moments but i wish he was a little bit like urcast uh when it comes to consistency and ouch ow what do you do to that? What do you do against that? That's rough. Well, you don't do much. Still fighting. You just get killed. That's how that works. Now NCL walks around the corner. Somebody, luckily going down, should be a follow-up kill for NCL. He's recovered the round so far for Tiger, but it's not done. Far from done, in fact, because Dan King's still alive with a scout. He gets rid of Cabal. And now we're into a three versus three blur. We've seen Tyler win this round over a Mirage. We've seen them lose the pistol, but answer back immediately. And this is going to be a scary scenario for Tiger. Why is tanking facing? <laughs> what an absolute lunatic, Denko. Why does he keep facing? Nine is so lucky. Not a drop to his death, mind you. He got tagged midair. Out of 4 HP and tanking. Another tag coming in. Ensil down to 49. That SMG, Denko. It could it could just shred the remaining players. As tanking looking for another kill. The pre-fire doesn't quite pan out. Nine. Reads him perfectly. Now it's a 2v2, but they seem to be unaware of Slowly's position, but NCL uses a smoke, creeps on around, and it's all on Summer. Oh, oh, the bullet's missed, Nico, but the UMP comes out. Can he find the kill before he gets into the bomb site? He can't. Look at how low they are. 4 HP, 24 for NCL, one bullet. A piece is all he needs, but NCL's gonna clutch it out. 4K for him. That looked too scary for Tai Lu and Tai Lu. A little bit of an overextension. We saw this in Mirage as well, Dinko. They didn't get punished then. They are getting punished a little bit this time around. Well, 2-0. At least Tiger to find the round. It was a little bit scary at times. I could come into this one with the better buy by far. There's a couple of CZs, a Deagle and Jewel Barrettis in the hands of somebody. Now, if there's a player to make this work, it, it would be somebody. I always put a smile on my face when I see the, the uh, Jewel Barrettis coming out. Although, usually, I see it in the pistol round, you know, you'd rather just go for, I don't know, CZ, a 5.7 or a, a Deagle, anything. Any other pistol, apart from dual Berettas, but they're going to be walking in straight to contact play. 
And a Mac in the hands of Dobu is farming up that cash, Dinko. As Cabal finds Danking as well. And uh, still a player it's on Gandalf. But he's going to get checked by Nine being very methodical. And that should be the round. Slowly at least finds a Constellation kill. But Tiger. 3-0. This, uh, this is much better. They're just one round away from tying the score in Mirage, Dinko. It's a terrible statistic. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> I feel bad. I like these guys. I, re I really like the Tiger guys. I'm friends with a couple of them as well, but... That is bad. Tyler would just be so dominant, yeah. So Tyler's coach, is he, is he the manager that I'm thinking of? The one that speaks really good English? Kings? Is he? No, 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 you're talking about Kindy. Uh, uh, he's yeah. kind of like the manager. Yeah, he, he speaks really good English. It's but nice he's more guy. like a manager... Uh, he, since he speaks English as well, whenever they travel, he's a must-have. Oh, he definitely is. Um, I remember doing media day with Tai Lu, and um, I was having to do interviews and stuff, and he was the most helpful person. <laughs> definitely, otherwise that would have been a very long day, but not a whole lot done. Flashbangs over the top in towards long. Nine charging through as well. Flashbangs off the wall. And the Mac 10 charging through the smoke quickly here from Nine. I love it. Four players oh. entirely right in front of him. He gets one, but he's fully blinded. <laughs> Imagine his reaction. What? Imagine just being <laughs> unblinded and seeing four players right in front of you. Wait, what? What? What did I just wake up It's into? at that moment. <laughs> it's at that moment he knew. Yeah. Uh. I'm going to finish it, but you know what I mean? Dan King. Up towards Cat. Now, if Cabal peaks his right, he could. Get the timing. I'm not surprised Tiger just didn't like. Oh, look at look at that aggression from somebody. Finds Orcast. Finds that red Dobu as well. Gonna do a bit of damage and heading towards B, where I guess it's waiting. It's Mr. Reliable himself slowly with the M4. Well, slowly, peeks into the open, Dan King shuts down Dobu, and now Cabal, the last remaining player, into a 1 versus 2. He is certainly winnable, with somewhere around the corner, he's gonna jump across, luckily doesn't die, but of course Dan King's gonna hit the shot. Now Cabal gets the bomb plant. I don't want somewhere to commit right now, I want them to wait a little bit, but Dan King can arrive. They don't have a kit, so that is a big issue for them, so keep an eye on that. But at the moment, Cabal just sitting back in the bomb site. Biding his time as Dan King and Summer both make their way through the double door. And now Cabal holds the angle and Dan King is so quick. Blink and you will miss it. It's the first round of the board for Tai Lu. You look at... You, 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 if there's a new and up-and-coming opera, right? And then I look at it... If I have to compare operas, obviously Kazi would be the right pick for me. I'm like, watch the way this guy plays and learn from him. But if I have to compare someone like Annihilation and Dan King, I feel like... Danking is the perfect blend between the reliability and just the and just the I don't know like the keen game sense of Kaze and the sheer madness and the reflexes of Annihilation. He's just that perfect mix of unpredictable at the same time being such a reliable opera. I think uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy watching him as you know we see more of Tyloot playing here, but a bit of aggression towards the long. And CL, he's gonna get one and four more. Somebody replies back, somebody going for the full commit. So trades definitely going the way of the T's, but NCL being low, nine down to half HP as well. They're gonna have to fall on back. And that's exactly what they're gonna do, but they've won the initial duel. And with that, look at the aggression from slowly. This is I like that. He's pushed up towards B tons. He's got a little mate. I wouldn't want him to push down any further, but the fact that they know. That B is clear right now. And in fact, he's going to do one better. He's going to find Cabal. He's down to just four points of health, though. So he's half a fall on back and kind of hold himself up in a pretty comfortable spot. They're going to be heading towards B here, Dinko. This could get very messy, but solely so good. He finds NCL, who was kind of low, though. And now it's a 2v2. Summer and Danking on the retake. Summer. Low HP, that's the big issue here as well. They pulled off a retake in the previous round, but it was a one versus two, and Summer had health, but now Dan King, it's just no winning this. You gotta get out of there. Why, why are you even trying this? Why are you doing this? Why? It's Dan, because Dan King. He had no diffuse kit, zero utility, not enough money in the bank to buy an open in the next round. That's a round you save it. You can't win it. It's Dan King. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> 
answering a question. Why? Because it's tanking. <laughs> I suppose that does does answer the question. Because it's not a very satisfying answer, but it is one. <laughs> hey, sometimes, you know, you get answers to questions where you, it makes sense. The answer answers your question, but you're like, yeah, I'd rather not know that, but... Uh, Tiger, they've broken the money. Talo down to the pistols, we know how dangerous they can be, but this is much better from Tiger. They look uh, like a very, very different team from what we saw in Mirage, where they were just depleted. Now they're showing that, hey, you know what, we do have the individuals as well. We can kind of take you on. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Dust 2 as a map pick, but considering you're facing up against Tyler, who probably have one of the deepest map pools in, all, in the entirety of Asia, Nuke the only map they don't play. Apart from that, they, they're very comfortable in every other map. Uh, maybe a little shaken overpass, but that's about it. So makes a lot of sense here for Tiger just to bring out a map that they're very comfortable on. You know, play your player comfort map. Don't have to worry about whether your opponent's good or bad on it. Just stick to your strengths, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Is they're going to be heading towards this A bomb site where two players waiting, and the rotation is definitely on. All five players are going to be ready and waiting here. Who's coming in with the Molotov? Should play spoiled sport? Not really. Not burning alive. It's a little too deep. And there's going to be nine opening it up, finding slowly. Somebody does reply back. NCL just peering over the corner, looking to gather some information. But it looks like normalcy will be restored. But someone picks up an AK, finds another kill. And a bomb's dropped out in the open. This is not looking good. And they cross back towards Long to pick up the bomb. And that Cabal... He's up on the bomb site going towards Goose. Now the bomb will get planted. Ocast aligned that for the side. It's just, you can't win this if you're Tyloo. You just surely can't. As they move forward, there's just too many players to try and get rid of. They haven't got a kit. Have no utility. Is this just the Dan King summer retake show? This just feels like it has been for the past 10 rounds. No matter if it's A or B. Of course, we haven't had 10 rounds, but it's a little bit of high probable again. 5 1 for Tiger. They've had a great time in these first couple rounds of Dust 2. And now Tyloo, well, they're going to get a buy. They're not going to have the AWP again. This is going to be uh, rifles across the board. Nice uh, covering fire from, from 9. They're making that take a little bit easier. That could have gotten very uncomfortable for uh, Tiger. But 5-1 up. It looks like normal services... Uh, well, I wouldn't say necessarily normal services, but it seems like at least Tiger are playing to their level, at least when it comes to Dust 2. Still early days, though. Still a lot of rounds to be played, and one thing we know about Tyloo is how they haven't lost a single map so far in the entire group stage to go, apart from the 2-0 loss to Invictus early in the tournament. That's such an intimidating statistic. I feel like stats, though, kind of go out the window in these kind of games, though. Uh, in terms of really relying upon them, we talk about the fact that yeah, it does change a little bit in terms of the standings, but for the most part, when you're playing against Tyloo, that's when the stats change a lot. They're a completely different beast. Somebody oh, peeks down into towards top mid, nine turn around and gets rid of him. That's the aggression not really working out for somebody. And Tyloo, they haven't really been allowed to play their own game right now. Tiger is shutting them down, and this is a good start, and I'm impressed. That's one of uh, somebody's classic plays, you know, just pushing in from the B ton. Summer spraying blindly through the smoke. Cabal, 2 HP, but he stays alive. Now, all and slowly, Dinko is good for one, but he's isolated. There's nothing he can do. The bomb site's taken over. Tiger, they've woken up. Maybe they were sleeping on, on, uh, on Mirage. Maybe it was a little too warm for them. Maybe they were just like, yeah, whatever, you're gonna have Mirage. We're just gonna... I like that from Tyloo, just running up to a short, slowly walking back. Cabal has no idea. He has no idea. He's in for a shocker the second he goes for the jump. He sees one, doesn't spot the second. Trying to take away these guns, and I really wouldn't uh, blame them for it. How does he get the kill on an attacker? That is just disgusting. And he gets a hell out of dodge as well. Summer's going to be left alone, and Dobu's running up. Might actually get the kill, and he might... Oh, looks the wrong way. But Summer should save his gun. But Tiger, my lord, Dinko, they're looking like a whole different Tiger this time around.
Yeah, and Tyloo haven't really done anything. They haven't got involved at all in the CT side yet. And I feel like it has been a little bit of economic mismanagement that's led to this point. I don't know if you would agree in terms of that. But it feels like they've never really had enough money or enough utility to get going. And I would love to see them just kind of take a little bit of a lower tier buy here. Just get a full buy into this next round. We don't invest anything. Just use the one M4 you've got on summer and just hope that that's enough. It's Tyler, they need money. Hmm. Tyler, they need money and they need rounds. Uh, that's accurate. You're hurting me. <laughs> Stop buying. Uh... <laughs> no, this is where he buy he invests a five hundred in buying a, a five seven as well, just to make it hard for <laughs> uh, Why? Why have you done this? <laughs> well, it is to attack. You might pull something off crazy with it. Somewhere gonna move forward, gets one kill. Ooh. Although there goes attacker MP9 making it by. That's oh, why. That's why you don't hurt me anymore, attacker. I understand. <laughs> so I don't understand. You know, from a mere mortal perspective, Blair, that just seems dumb. But from a, an attacker perspective, it's the obvious decision. And now he goes forward with another kill. Finally, he goes down, but he's got three kills in the round. It's up against Cabal. A one versus one, slowly. He has only got a Deagle. He's got a little bit of Kevlar. And Cabal is one body shot away from death. The bomb. Slowly he's going to find that. Surely. He moves a bit. He goes uh, a little bit quicker. But he's going back towards short. Blah. And that's going to cost him. The information at least, but at least if he's towards short or towards CT spawn, he'll get info that he hasn't crossed to A yet. And that does allow him to rotate between B and A very, very quickly. And I don't think there's really another option for Cabal here other than can to commit towards this A bomb site. Because slowly he could be around the corner outside of long. He could be up in towards middle. So you have to be really thinking about A as your only real option right now. And slowly, he has the cross. He comes down to timing whether or not he can place his cross out. And he looks away. Cabal, it's down to the timing. Slowly spotted him. He's seen the head. He knows he can just wait on by. And Cabal patiently waiting for slowly to cross over. I don't think Cabal has seen slowly. But slowly certainly knows that Cabal is there now. The crossover towards the bomb site. Taps to try and pull slowly into the open. And this might just work for him. But slowly, he knows. What a play. What a genius. Slowly just calculating everything. And he doesn't go again. This is unbelievable. Five seconds. Now he goes. He knows he has to commit to the plant. And now slowly walks forward. The Molotov down. That gives away his position. Shows that he's moved forward. It doesn't matter. Slowly in with a kill. And he'll win the round for Tai Lu. And never, ever question attacker. That's what I've learned. <laughs> well, I like how he answered your questions. Stop hurting me, Dagger. He's like, yeah, here's a 3k for you, Tinko. But slowly played that so smart, so well. I love it. I, I love how we might have criticisms of attacker. Like, for example, this one's an attacker. Why are you buying? Everyone, no one else has bought up in your team. You have questions about Summer. Summer, why are you going for this mid-round call? It doesn't make any sense. Then you have Danking. Danking, why are you running out in front of two people with an op going for no scopes? Or somebody, somebody, why are you pushing the damn smoke? But how many times have you ever questioned slowly going for a play? Rarely, super rarely. He he has been one of the more sane players in Tai Lu. And that's what that I, for me, I, I like that. That's what I always talk about. Like, he's definitely the perfect addition. He adds some sort of sanity to the roster. Hell, he's the guy just kind of trying to calm everybody down. It's like in Peaky Blinders when they're all fighting. <laughs> I haven't really watched Peaky Blinders yet. Oh, well, you should One definitely day. give that a watch. It's good. I, I held it off for years and just kind of binge watch all the seasons during lockdown. It's pretty awesome. That's what I do. That's what I like doing. I, I, I like just... Uh... So aggressive, Danky. Yeah, I just like binging like multiple seasons instead of just having to, you know, watch a couple of seasons and just wait for like a year or something. Nice catch from NCL there. NCL able to escape and now it's all in Danking and Cabal. Peaks before the smoke blooms and you know who you're dealing with. This man himself, Danking, doesn't spot anyone out. Instead, they're going to keep running on up, and Danking might have overthought this. He's going to be pushing on in. Doesn't see anyone. AK-47 picked up. No kit again. So that's uh, that's going to be a little bit of an issue for him. But he sits in mid. 
trying to catch them off if they rotate through. But yeah, he's definitely overthought this. They've gone over towards A. They've just committed towards the A bomb site, knowing they have the mad advantage, knowing that wherever they go, they should be able to trade efficiently onto Dan King. Now he's found a hit boy. So that does increase his chances of winning this round. Nine with the AWP on the side itself, looking towards short, but now he drops back into ramp that smoke. Covers off NCL, gives Dan King a one versus one fight, in fact, and NCL, he's down behind the car, just hiding his head away. And Dan King should realize that's the possibility, but the ball was planted for long. NCL needs to be careful, his head's been spotted. I think Dan King's just seen it over the top. Knows. There it is, there's the headshot. Oh. Dan King, so clean in the one versus two, plays it to perfection. And it's a third round for Ty Lu. It is not clean, it's two clutches in a row. But they are finding the rounds now, and they've broke down the money for Tiger. So well played. That was a 1v3. It didn't feel like a 1v3. So clean. A little bit of mistake there from Cabal. He should have been a, a wary of, you know, where Danken might just be if Danken would have the read. I love how uh, our observers are, you know, switching off the, on and off the X-ray depending on some of the scenarios. And, and, and I love that. I appreciate that. It's... You kind of forget how hard it is some of these shots that the pros land. And you're like, oh yeah, he should have easily hit that, you know, because we have extra. You know, it's so hard to see the small little pixels. And it took a while, Dinko. It took a quite a while, but I will finally manage to, I know, just chop away the economy. Although, NCO has got that hero AK-47. Not necessarily a big fan of it, but you know, it's a little bit some pistol upgrade. It's good to have a, an automatic rifle to work with, and they're gonna be heading towards B. They had found a lot of the initial success on this B bomb site as somebody peers down mid. Of course, he will. This is a dry peer towards Dobu, and now slowly. Can he hold on, Dinko? Oh, well, slowly, good spray away. Gets rid of nine and NCL. Cabal. Shuts down slowly in reply. Now it's just Cabal on his own. A one versus four. A look back into the tunnel, but this round is certainly done. It's written. Or Ty Lu. Somebody swinging, taking the fight, wins it in the end. And a fourth round picked up for Ty Lu. Now, two away from tying things up. Money. Uh, it, because of Enskill's rifle purchase, he's not going to have enough for an AK, obviously. Or he does. He just doesn't have enough for Kevlar around it. I think you kind of got to buy now. And the, the scary part for Tiger is, even though they're purchasing and they're investing everything into this, they've still got a glass cannon, they've got a MAC-10 in play, and they have barely any utility. So the likelihood of winning this round is pretty slim. And then they'll be back to another eco or low buy, and that's when Tyloo just continue to rein in. Talk about utility, you don't need utility when a Tiger's just going to come running out and give you a free kill. Summer playing up close. I like that off shot out from. Oh, whoa, what? What? How does Summer with that? But slowly, Pure's are now trying to be the hero, Dinko. And, uh, well, that's a way for you to have to eat your words. That's unfortunate. Somebody left in a 1v3, and the Cabal is ready for him. You were saying, Dinko. <laughs> No, I mean, I wish... firstly, I, I I just want to preempt what if, whatever you're gonna say right now by saying that I completely agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> just that time, I don't know. I mean, they just should have won that round. Um, nine hasn't. There we go. He has got Kevlar. I was waiting for that. Yeah, I, I, Tiger definitely should have just won that round. Uh, shouldn't have won that round. I mean, the the bike from Tyler was just much better. Obviously, there was a percentage chance. You can't say that any round sh 100% won. But Tiger, what they brought to the table in comparison to Tai Lu was not enough. And Tai Lu, I'm going to be honest, they look pretty terrible on Dust too. They, they just look completely uncomfortable on the CT side. The rounds that they've won have all been clutches, pretty much, apart from the start of the, the game where they won, it was just one or two rounds easily. And then the other rounds have been able to pick up just clutches. So, yeah, it's just been terrible for them. Even against low buys, Tai Lu haven't been able to do a whole lot. So I'm. I'm not really too excited about Tai Lu and Dust 2 right now. They've got to try and change this up. Tiger having a great time on the T side. If this doesn't work out for Tai Lu in the next this round here, then we're looking at Tiger taking a very one-sided half. Well, I mean, as Mitch says, you, know, you could still win 16 clutches and win the game. So there's that. Unlikely as it may be. But I agree with you. And all uh, jokes aside... Tiger just feel more comfortable that, you know, they're able to kind of like 
flex your muscle a little bit, winning some of these duels, but danking. One thing about this man is he is very, very good with almost any weapon. I like. And also like his aggression. And the thing is, he doesn't get punished for his aggression. Like, it always tends to catch people off guard. Look at the angle he's holding. And oh, there's no way not expecting Danking to be holding that angle. And he's going to go for more Dinko. This is when I'm like, ah, don't do it, Danking. Flashbang is good. And he's going to be lucky to stay alive. Drops on down to safety. But he's done his job. And that's around. You want to see if you're tired, Luke. But NCL, he has time for the ball player. Dan King, of course he's going to try this, surely. Got my shot, go for it. Oh, he doesn't actually take the shot. He jumps to get the info. But doesn't take the shot at all. Knock about. Looking for the headshot somewhere. And slowly clean up the last two kills. And that's the best round we've seen from Ty Luke. You are correct. I mean, 12 rounds in, that is the cleanest round we've seen coming up from Ty Lu here. No one really having to clutch. But again, right, if you, if you look at it, uh, it's again Dan King just being hyper aggressive with the AWP, getting these opening picks. Mind you, little quick stat. Do, uh, not Dobu, sorry. Uh, Dan King is the player with the highest opening kill uh, rating so far in tournament. And are you even surprised the way he wields at AWP? Dan King is a beast. Now attacking moving forward. Ocast is there for one kill, but somebody will trade back through the smoke at a wall onto Dobu. I feel like I haven't had to say Dobu's name a lot, but he is playing pretty well. 13 and 12. He's, he's delivered a good bit of impact. Somebody oh, gets away, but he takes a bit of damage from the scout. Dan King, Oof. though, just tears the head right off nine shoulders. And finally, it's looking like this war of attrition will go in favor of Tai Lu, at least for the time being. NCL, Cabal, and Urkast, they've got a lot of work to do, and they really only have a long. Uh, that's not a... Hmm. I don't know how that smoke's going to be useful, but at least the, uh, the follow-up one's good. Flashbang. Of course, tanking off from his position. They know they don't... Uh, they know that Tiger don't have an AWP. And now look at somebody. The flank comes in right time. They need to cross on over Dinko. And do they have any utility? They have one Molotov. That's it. They have no more utility remaining. How are they going to cross on over? How? Flank is on. Urkast finds Summer. That's big. Slowly finds the player who's trying to cross on over. And somebody, the timing is just absolutely luscious from him. Somebody. I've, I've, I've always had this feeling about somebody, whether he's just absolutely dumbest player in Counter-Strike or an absolute genius, like a mad genius. And I feel like he's somewhere in between. Like, y you can't doubt the fact that he's a phenomenal player and he's, some of his flank, his timings, it's, it's, it's great. But the one time where I start feeling like banging my head against a wall for somebody is when he does the same thing over and over and over and over again, even though it hasn't worked out at all. It doesn't make any sense. I'm like, why are you doing it? Why are you, like, you know, it's not worked out in the past 10 rounds. Stop doing it. He's like, nope, still gonna run through the smoke. But, uh, it seems like he's kind of matured in game of late. You know, it's Summer and somebody are the two lowest rated players right now with Tai Lu. Which I thought I would never say. For, for Even when Benjamin was hard carrying for this team, uh, somebody was up there number wise. But, Right now, that's a pretty uh, comfortable cleanup. Or Cass does have an M4 and the Kevlar, so always going to be dangerous, but unlikely he's going to be able to pull up anything really crazy. It slowly shuts him down. It's all an NCL with a P to 50. Actually, sorry, Tech 9. Dan King with a P to 50 gets to kill. Let's go side up. Not too bad from Ty Ludenko, considering what Tiger would have 5 0, 5 1 up, something ludicrous yeah, like that. Tiger would dominating. At uh, the start of Dust 2, it, I think is the correct description. They were just looking so good. Tyloo, a lot of retakes not going their way, and, and they were just shut down three Six players one. immediately. Yeah, it's, it was mm -hmm. it was looking rough. And there a couple of rounds that they managed to pick up were rather terrible. I mean, it were just clutches having to come in. And of course, they're flashy, but you don't want to have to go to the clutches time and time again. But finally, Tyloo up to seven rounds. They could lead the way at the half, and that's definitely not something we expected. We've seen the 6 1 scoreline. I just, uh, I want to talk about 
this team as well. Tyler, in terms of somebody in summer being some of the, the lower players, I think now that this team has roles, they have defined roles in the team. And I think that kind of mm -hmm. helps out. I think some somebody's kind of the X factor player that gets in these weird positions. And obviously you're going to die quite a bit in those, but you have the Frigers. I think attacker is one of the most pivotal players in terms of finding just that sheer aggression, sheer kills, multi frags coming through, through. Danking, Alper obviously very good at the clutches and slowly is the more calculated player, the one that can help out the team. And Summer, we've seen already, he's a very supportive element and somebody's just kind of that added addition to the team that gives them the flair that we we know Tyloo have. And there's such an edge over a lot of these teams. So somebody may not be getting all of the kills like he used to do, but the fact that he has some really important rounds like this one, where he just pushes and gets the perfect timing, the perfect aggression, gave us Tyloo just so much more than the other Asian teams. And this is what I'm talking about, right? The two kills he gets, it's brilliant. And then he aggresses even further. There's no need to do that. There's absolutely no need for him to do that. And then he gets another dodge. He, he, he's always so hungry for more. He's always looking for that extra that extra little bit. And when he face off against some of the EU teams, some of the top NA teams, and then, you know, they're not used to them. So the first time they face Tyloo, they're like, what the hell's going on? Why are we just getting picked apart by this guy? Just pushing through smokes like a madman. But then they figure <laughs> him out. Then they figure him out, and then they counter him. Unfortunately, oh it seems like my he's... God. Get it? Get the ace. Get the ace, somebody. Just like, pop him out of here. Oh, Cabal, for a moment, I thought he'd get three kills, but Ty Lu, they strike back, and somebody, man, he's... Oh, I love him, and I hate him at the same time. It's, it's confusing. I have a very confusing relationship with somebody. <laughs> Well, two, and well, he just uh, look at this. This is just disgusting how that plays out. What the hell? There's he no one top... backing him yeah. up in mid. There's no, There's one. no one. He just pushes on his own, <laughs> and, and then he stays there. He stays there. He goes behind the smoke and he waits for them to come over the top of short again, looking for him. And luckily they don't. But then he just repositions perfectly back up towards B. He just has such a good read of the game. Oh, it's seven. Tai Lu. They've got good bit of Kevlar across four players. Summer with a smoke and a flashbang. And over here for Tiger, it's four sets of Kevlar, a Diffuse Kit, and a Flashbang for Urcast. But I feel like this is a must-win pissed around for Tiger. Even though it's 8-7, we want to see them get off to a good start in the second half. Otherwise, Tai Lu are going to be continuing their momentum from the previous round. And Dobu, he's going to shut down Dan King early on into the pissed around. Repositioning towards the back of the bomb star. And that's the bomb down in towards CT spawn. That's a huge commit from Tai Lu and a big mistake, really. But they get away. Smoke deep allows them to come back to the bomb site, and now a three versus three retake. Bomb getting planted as well. Summer is very, very low. He doesn't need to face. They don't have any utility to flush him out either. He can just hold on there, just play distraction. He's gonna do one better. He's gonna get a kill with a P250. And suddenly, this is not looking good at all for Tiger. They use up the last little bit of utility they have. Summer just distracting. Buying time for the rest of his teammates, and now attacker faces. It's all on Cabal. 1v3, and they all peek together. Attacker having to slow down his rate of fire a little bit there, but he's going to win the round for his team. And Tai Lu, how is this 6-1 for Tiger? What happened? It's almost like we're just rambling along, and suddenly Tai Lu's like, all right, you know, let's win this. I know, it's just it's so weird how they just kind of went... Okay, if we've let them have their fun, let me get a few rounds. I'll just close it out. Something I noticed with uh, the PGL broadcast as well over the past couple of weeks we've had is the, the sky boxes are just so much more pleasant to look at. Um, oh, that's just a very small thing. But the push going through and towards the P bomb site is working out. It's somebody that takes down NCL. And a man advantage in play for Tai Lu as nine swings on by. Attacker picked off through the door. And well, bomb site towards B has been taken. Let's we'll see if this works yep. out for Tai Lu. No, they need to save the weapons right now. Tai Lu is so confident in this B bomb side, they're winning this B bomb side, that they have two players. Only two players, the other two are still floating towards mid. And considering the investment that the, the CTs have, you want to save your weapons. But somebody's like, nah, fam, that, that's not going to happen. Urukas was taken down. Somebody just charging out like a. Like a lunatic. Four kills for him. Dinko, the, uh... We talk about somebody. We've spoken about how Danking, Attacker, and Slowly have kind of forced somebody to, you know, kind of take a backseat when it comes to the fragging department. But it looks like us too. is his playground. He's, uh, he's waking up here, and he's looking hungry. 
How is he allowed to get these kills? How is it just run out? Why does it do it? Why are there no flashbangs? Why is he such a lunatic, Dinko? It just boggles my mind. Well, Dan King as well. Bit of a madman himself. And somebody alongside him. Nine going down. It's just NCL left alone with the USP. Stuck in the lower tunnel. And he swoops around the corner and just sees them looking right at him. Down <laughs> into the eyes. And yeah, it's not going to work out. 11-7. Ty Lu is starting to really ramp it up. And who's going to pop out of the drone? We haven't had the drone in our game in a while, Blair. Feels like we haven't seen much of him. And he's back again. The photographer. 12 flashbang used for somebody. All flashbangs, uh, nine smokes, and he's not just a photographer, he's he's a madman. We should probably add that to the stats once we, you know, they have all these cool names like, like the utility file and this and that. Maybe you can add a stat for someone who just pushes in through smokes. I don't know how you're going to calculate that. I mean, you need to have some crazy APIs, but I think somebody would win hands down. Call, him, call it the Stewie. Fast play towards mid to B, and the fact that Tiger have no one towards mid, they have one player, that's towards CD Swan, just spamming away. But it's going to be contact play. Why is it slowly not checked towards Car? I don't know. That's going to be two free kills, but Danking burns Kabbalah alive. NCL doing his very best to keep his team in the running, but somebody comes pre-firing around the corner, jumps on a cross. He is internally bleeding on five points of health, but he's going to get the bomb down. And it's all down to Mr. Danking and somebody in Danking. He's aware. Flashbang oh, fails. Danking, he's good for another one. It's all an Urkast, and I think Danking knows. Danking knows. Urkast, oh, he finds one, but Danking repositions to window. And there's no way you expect that second player. Danking makes the right call. Four kills picked up for him in the round. Somebody was the sacrificial lamb. It allows the round to go in favor of Tai Lu. And Danking, how many 4Ks has that been? I think off the top of my head, I can think of two, but... I'm sure down the line there's probably been more than that. He has been so, so good for them. Time and time again. How did... Okay, maybe I just missed a sound cue or something, but how, how are they so sure of Urkast's position? Did, did somebody just peek out mid or something? I I don't know. Danking gets a kill on the on the first play coming out from tunnels, and then he, he was like so sure, like it, they were so sure that the final play was in tunnels, which is correct, of course. I don't know how to figure it out. Nice taps from somebody. He's uh he's in a warpath, Dinko. He's just looking to get all the kills, all the frags, and NCL with the scout. Well, he does delay this for a bit, but just a scout and three HP. Gonna try and save. He doesn't even want to risk picking up the AK-47 from mid. 13 to 7. 6 1 to Tiger. And now 13 to 7 to Tai Lu. I don't I don't even I don't know what to say. I mean, if you're Tiger, in this moment in time, you're just kind of mentally broken. You're exhausted after you've had to battle so hard just to get this couple of rounds at the start. And now you've just kind of imploded. And you're starting to look at the scoreline, and it's it's out of hand. You lose this round, it's probably done. And Tyler backhanded your Mirage. You, you didn't do anything there. Urkast, he was getting involved at the start of the, the half, but he wasn't able to do anything towards the end of Mirage. And he's been completely and utterly neutralized here on Dust2. He's got seven kills left in round 21, or heading into round 21. Well, that's, uh, that's a rough showing, especially being the number one rated player in this tournament. That certainly is going to fall after this. Kaze will be rubbing his hands together. And while Dan King gets rid of Cabal, now moving forward, it's slowly who falls the NCL, but Summer is so quick to trade. And the spacing from Tai Lu is oh. perfect in towards this people. So I look where somebody is. He is after them. The Jaws music starts to play, and he cuts open at nine. <laughs> din, din, it's all on to Dopey and Urkast. <laughs> I think it's very apt. He Hello. is like a great white shark. <laughs> he is. And now he just... Disappears again. When's he gonna strike? In towards the middle this time. Dobu, he fights back. He gets it done. He's hooked him in the head. 
Yeah, but there's Summer Attacker and Danking still alive, so... Time for Jaws 2, and 3, and 4, and 5. <laughs> That's the thing with Tyler. And Sharknado. Yep. Yeah. Look at this. Look, it's a Sharknado. And it's the Meg. <laughs> oh. I, I mean, look, it's, it's really hard to kind of make sense of what's really happening. It's just that Tiger, they... The, it's like the claws have just been ripped off that they're... Tiger they seem to be sharks. completely toothless. <laughs> that's, that's a battle that would be interesting. I mean, obviously, Tigers don't go in water that too well in terms of being able to fight in water. They do swim quite well, but they won't be able to fight as well in water. Get to one of the shreds. They would, and uh, oh, man, I, I feel, I actually feel well bad for Tiger because if you look at the beginning few rounds when they were 6 1 up, it was like, all right, you know, we definitely have a fight in our hands, right? And then it just fell apart. Fine, it was 8-7 to Tai Lu in the first half. That's okay. But this the CD side from Tiger, this is beyond flat. How is he allowed to get these kills? How is he dry peeking you every round? Every freaking round and getting kills, multi-kills. 29 and 18 right now for somebody. Luckily, he's traded back. But Tai Lu. They'll be happy enough with the situation they're in. There's absolutely no flashbang. Uh, no, there's three flashbangs. Well, I was meant to say, there's no utility of relevance right now. There's three flashbangs. That's all they've got. And just over a minute in play for Tai Lu to play with as well. So this is definitely looking good for the Chinese side. That's one of the flashbangs gone. Mm. That is an ideal. Now, I want 9 to be neutralized here. He doesn't get forced off the angle. Instead, he has to run away now, but he doesn't get utility coming in towards him. Tyler instead are going to throw players at it. And it works. Attack it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Attack it. Why? Oh, no. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> Look at like, please, please don't kill me. Attack just strikes fear into him. Kabal's just kind of jumping up and down and there no! it is. Attack him with a double kill. Two players. Kabal stays allowed. alive. He, <laughs> he stays alive oh, no. and he gets back up. He goes with his big brother and attacker. He just beats him up as well. <laughs> How does he get both of them, Dinko? How does he get both of them? No boot. Oh, well, there's one and a second kill. But the round's won. Tai Lu, 15-7. How have we got to this point, Blair? No one really knows. It went wrong at one point for Tiger. And then it never really got better. Somebody's... Oh, look at look at these. How many times has he just got won these duels, Dinko? Like, I, I've, I've lost track. Oh, that was a nice shot, though. Nice, but... Nice shots aren't going to win you games. Especially when somebody is just, just abusing Tiger. I hope he gets a 30 bomb. I think he deserves it. Well, nine at least with the save day WP. He finds Danking. That's a that's a nice opening pick. Or a cast. Laughing on a few bullets. Just tickling away it slowly. So at least a man advantage here, Dinko. How? How how is Summer allowed short like that? How is it allowed to be there? How is it allowed to be in this position? He's gonna get taken oh. down though. Oh, okay, there we go. Huh, but how God. is he allowed to walk up like that? That just, it just, why? Tiger, what's going on? I have a feeling they're going to win this round, though. They have a good setup. Nobody gets one kill, and that should be enough. But somebody, of course, he's still alive. Oh, he's he's alive. over towards B. He gets a kill on towards the B bomb site. Now the bomb rotating over. Somebody has to lock this down for quite a few seconds because slowly he's nowhere near the B bomb site. And the NCL, he's in the tunnel. Somebody realizes he's given it up. So. As slowly approaches, somebody will go into the tunnels to try and take away NCL. And it comes down to whether or not somebody spots him, and he should be able to get this kill. There it is. And now one versus two. Ericast, the star player of Mongolia. Not just Tiger. The entire country of Mongolia. And we'll see if he can step up. Number one rated player in the tournament coming into this match. And he has been so quiet. It kills. Not going to be enough. Somebody gets rid of him. And Tai Lu, they will go and only lose two maps in this entire group stage. It's a long tournament as well. Ten teams, round robin. Everybody plays everyone. And it's been two zeros all the way through. Only losing 